Hey everyone, let's look at question two from midterm one in spring 2020 of DSC 48. So the question asks, is the following statement true or false? Given any function f and the data set x1 comma x2 comma xn, uh, all the way till xn I should say, the mean of the f of x's is the same as f of the mean of the x's. Now anytime I see a question like this, I like to come up with an example just to see if it's true you know, for that example that I came up with. Because if it's not true for that example, well then it's definitely not gonna be true in general. So let's make up an example. Let's say that our function f of x is something like x squared. Uh, and I'll say x1 is equal to one, x2 is equal to three. So let's calculate both of these uh, quantities and see if they happen to be equal in this case. So first, I'll look at f of x1 and f of x2 and calculate their mean. So f of x1 and f of x2, if I'm taking the average of them, looks something like this. What's f of x1? Well, that's f of one. f of x2, well, that's uh, f of three. That's divided by two. f of one is one squared, that's just one. f of three is three squared, that's nine. So the mean of those two things is five. Okay. Now let's look at f applied on the mean of the x's. So that looks something like this. Well, what's the mean of the x's? Well, our x's are one and three, so their mean is two. And f of two is two squared, which is four. So are these two things equal? No, they're not, because the first one gave me uh, five and the second one gave me four for this example. So because it's not true uh, for this example, it's not going to hold true in general. Now it may hold true in some situations and there are situations where it does hold true. Uh, and if you're curious, you should look into what happens if you set f to be some linear function like y is equal to mx plus b, but in general, it's not true. That's it.